Well, today I'm going to share with you the top five reasons why you cannot trust the accuracy of Zillow's Zestimate. I'm going to talk to you about how Zillow really does determine your value and you're not going to want to miss the fifth reason about why Zillow's Zestimate may not be accurate at all. You're going to be shocked at what you're about to hear. Hi, my name is Billy Bryson with Bryson Team Real Estate and Home Loans. If you're new to my channel, please make sure to subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment below. Also, if you or anyone you know is considering making a move or refinancing, please give me a call, pass on my number, or you can visit my website for free, helpful real estate and loan information. Uh, if you're interested in finding out what a buyer would pay for your home in this market and how much you're going to net in your pocket when it sells, Stay tuned at the end of this video and I'll be able to show you how you can get an accurate home's value. So how does Zillow come up with the value on your home, known as the Zestimate? Zillow is one of the largest real estate internet companies on the planet. So when you're thinking of selling your home, many people go to Zillow to see what Zillow thinks their home is worth. It's a very popular thing to do, but their estimate is not always accurate and here's why. Reason number one is Zillow's estimate may not be accurate uh, because Zillow doesn't know anything about the condition of your home or the updates that you've put into your home. Um, here's an example. A couple months ago, I had a great opportunity to list a home. Three other agents said this home is worth $550. The Zestimate, Zillow's estimate said it was worth $548,000. But I saw the value. It was on a huge, beautiful lot sitting at the end of a cul-de-sac, completely remodeled, gorgeous, fantastic views. And we listed the home at 595. Right after we listed the home, Zillow raised their estimate to 596. Then I sold the home in the first weekend for 605. If the seller would have believed what those other real estate agents or Zillow had said about its value, they would have lost $65,000. So Zillow doesn't know anything about the improvements or what you've done to your home to make it valuable. Number two is Zillow has little or no knowledge about your your lot, your location, condition, and if you're on a cul-de-sac and all those things, and if you're walking distance to the best schools, you know 70% of buyer's purchase decision is on location. The number three reason Zillow's data is often inaccurate is because they don't have to be accurate. 50% of Zillow's revenue comes from real estate agents that buy leads from Zillow because they're hot buyer leads. Even the comparable sales they use are not necessarily accurate. They don't always compare apples to apples. Number four, Zillow's estimate may not be accurate is because they can't keep up with the market shifts going on. As an example, if the interest rates go up, that affects the buyers or if the market changes. And the number five reason, and here it is, Zillow is buying homes. They are now a real estate investing company. They're making offers on homes. Do you think Zillow is going to pay full market value for your home? How can they make a profit? They must make a profit. Selling your home to Zillow or any other internet company might make sense if you're in a hurry to sell or if you have a specific closing date for cash right away or and you don't want to deal with putting your home on the market but you know what zillow is going to do they're going to maybe put some lipstick some rouge on it some carpet some paint and then they're going to put it back on the market and they're going to flip it they're going to take advantage of your weakness and make a profit oh and the next best thing is they don't charge a commission but they do charge a seven percent or more service fee their offer is below market value. What a fantastic deal for Zillow, but not a great deal for a home seller. And think about it. If they are this big internet company that's deciding and telling everybody online what your home is worth, then they're making an offer below market value. How's that fair to sellers? You know, in my opinion, this is exactly what Zillow is doing. They're kind of positioning themselves as a gold standard, the go-to for home values, with their Zestimate being the largest real estate company um, and then they make offers below market value. They can flip the homes and make a profit. Talk about a double duh. Anyways, if you agree to sell your home to one of these internet companies, it just makes no sense to me. And, but I do understand that people that need to do it, um, if they're desperate to sell, but I know that even our investors will pay more than Zillow is willing to pay for your home. So just keep that in mind. Uh, once again, my name is Billy Bryson, Bryson Team at Real Estate and Home Loans. And if you or anyone you know is considering making a move, refinancing, please give me a call, pass on my number, or you can visit my website for free, helpful real estate and loan information. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you found this information helpful. Uh, please make sure to subscribe to this video, share this video, like this video, and leave a comment below. Have a great day. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.